ladies and gentlemen, Marauder EX here on the title screen with my Saturn PC built for emulation goodness. Uh, here I've got Shining Force Resurrection of the Dark Dragon, and this is a game that I've I've, I've, I've been debating on playing it. Uh, I was debating between this or the original Shining Force 1. And I started. I actually started recording this project with this game. Got three parts into it. I had no idea what I was doing because there's there is a fair bit added to this game versus uh, versus the original. And because I had no idea what I was doing, I said, "Screw this! I'm going to use a guide. I'm not going to do this blind, completely blind. And I am going to do this game because of the stuff that they've added to it." So. Without further ado, we're going to load up Shining Force, the Resurrection of the Dark Dragon. Uh, like I said, this is a remake of Shining Force 1 for the Game Boy Advance. Uh, I have options of British. Uh, I'm a terrible American. I think that's German. I think. French, Italian, and I don't know. I don't know flags. Uh, we're going to use British, because it's the closest thing to English. Um, it's the Queen's English, or the King's English. I don't know. I don't know how they'd describe it. So, yeah, we're going to use we're gonna use English. Because... In ages long forgotten, light fought darkness for control of the world. I love the, the, the broken sentences as it goes through. Dark Dragon led the evil hordes of darkness. With a name like Dark Dragon. The ancients fought back with the powers of light. Dark Dragon was defeated and cast into another dimension. Into the Shadow Realm, where Yuki Moto. No, no, shit, wrong, wrong game. The Lord of Darkness vowed to return in 1,000 years, exactly. To the day. It was a Thursday. Time passed and Dark Dragon was forgotten by all. How do you forget that kind of shit, man? I mean, really. Ten centuries of pre peace ruled the land of Rune. Until the kingdom of Runefoss brought war and fear to Rune. Hordes of evil creatures ravaged every land. Here and there, strongholds of good still held out. Awaiting a hero who could wield the powers of light. Original game, copyright Sega, Sega Amusement Vision 2004, Shining Force Resurrection of the Dark Dragon. Uh, like I said, this is a remake. This was not handled by Camelot uh, or Sonic Software Planning, the people who are responsible for the majority of the classic Shining Force franchise, Shining Force 1, 2, uh, Shining Wisdom, Shining the Holy Ark, etc. Uh, Shining in the Darkness 2, excuse me. Yeah, uh, so as you can see, I have... I have one there, but we're not going to do it. No, I don't want to do that. Yeah, we're gonna do a new one. Actually, we're gonna go ahead and delete. Yes, we're going to delete it. Okay, it's gone now. Simone is our storyteller. She is basically our Master Gabriel, our Wicked Witch in the forest, uh, our Guido Fairy, Guido Fairy. Uh, she's the one who's basically reading the stories to us. So we're gonna pick one. First of all, what's the name of the hero story? The default name is Max, and we're going to keep that. I could name it, and they give you all sorts of interest. Like, I could name him Aether if I wanted to. Like, They give you so many different letters to, to mess around with. It's awesome. Or I could just name him Numbers. That's a cool name, I guess. Let's, get, let's hurry up and start reading. Because reading is fundamental. And this game starts off with a battle scene. This was not in the original. You just saw these two moving and you heard the, the sound effects. Uh, Varios! Now then, Max, attack me any way you like and give it all that you've got. What are you doing? Focus your mind. A true Jedi must focus. The real battle begins now! because what we were doing a few minutes ago was just dicking off, apparently. Yes, breathe. Breathing is a very important 
factor in combat, otherwise you pass out and then you get killed by your enemy. You'll be the best swordsman in room. Alright, so now we have control over Max. Max is our hero for the game. We try to leave. And lo, I guess one of our friends shows up. Yeah, I'm holding my own. Alright, so you have to talk to him again. No, you have to go talk to... Pity for all your talent, you can't recall your origins or your past. Yes, that blow to the head really makes it hard to remember everything. So we play uh, 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 the traditional mysterious amnesia suffering hero. Not cliche or anything. And we've been here a year. Good to know. Yeah, don't worry about me. You're old. Perhaps your amnesia is the kind of trial that you've been given to overcome. And we can't do that if you don't remember anything. I bring news. Yes, I bring news. It's true. <laughs> I must return to the castle. We'll have another go tomorrow. Alright, we talked to Lo. He's white as a sheet. And now we get to go wandering the castle. Chapter 1, Runefalst Invasion. I wonder what's going to happen now. We are in the kingdom of Gardiana. Gardenia? Gardenia. Hydrangea. We're in the kingdom of Hydrangea. Ah, the good Max. As opposed to the evil Max. I have a twin brother walking around. I had an odd dream about you last night. Can you guess what it was? Oh... Like, I can guess. I guarantee you my guess is gonna be wrong. Let's see what the game actually has to say. Even the great Lord Max can't read people's minds. Little do you know, my real name is Mintok, the Mind Taker. I had a dream about the first time I met you. An apprentice here found you lying on the beach. That was a year ago. Oh, well, now we get to figure out how we got here. I've forgotten something important. The road that lies before you is fraught with many dangers. Should you try to come across a church along the way, make a record, in quotation marks, of your journey. So that's how you save the game, make a record. It's pretty much the same as any other Shining Force game that I've done, and that you've probably seen at this point. Yes, I understand. Alright, so we don't really get to do much. We can wander around and go look at the castle. We're gonna go... We go over here. By over here, I mean up here. Alright, like any other Shining Force game, if a guy has a portrait, he's someone who's either going to join your force or you're going to have to kill. Hey there, youngster. Want to hear my story? Yes, I want to hear your story. Great with a sword, I hear. That's why the knights of the castle aren't keen, you they, They're just jealous of my skills. My mad karate skills. That's not really your story, old man. That's my story. <laughs> Alright, so Gort, we want to talk to him because he's important. Item shop. In. We can't buy weapons here. Um, we can push this cart and almost kill someone because we're reckless. Who rammed their cart into me? Me, bitch. What's it to you? That's, I mean, that's the only way to get over here. No. Yeah, it is. I don't think we can walk up that way. So you have to push the cart at them. Alright, so let's go up to the castle. We talked to Gort. Over here we can't go into yet. That's our headquarters. Um, this is May. 
don't talk to me, I'm busy. She's a bitch. She's also Varios' daughter. We can come in here, and there's a guard who won't let us go in. But he's guarding the treasure room. He just pushes us out like a slinky. We show up! King Guardiana! King Hydrangea! And so we summoned you, Varios. This is grave news indeed. And so apparently we're welcome just to walk into the castle, talk to the king. You should speak to the king first. King Hydrangea! Ah, Max, come, I have something to discuss with you. There is an aura of evil about the gate of the ancients to the east of this castle. Fortunately, Nova, our most able strategist, was able to detect this aura in time. The gate of the ancients is where the results... The relics of... Uh, results. Bleh. Me fail English. The relics of the gods are sealed. We must act to protect it. But if I dispatch the knights, it will only cause these, the people to worry needlessly. Or not. It'll be... We're preventative. It's... Uh... So instead of sending knights, we're going to send a kid. The gate of the ancients has existed since the age of the gods. And beyond the sealed portal is the legacy of the gods. With the people of Guardiania have charged with protecting this legacy. Talk to this guy. I'll never trust a man of unknown parentage such as you. You're a twat. I don't like you. We need you to lead a force to the gate of the ancients because I'm, I'm apparently, you know, I'm not a knight. We're just gonna send kids. I agree with Varus. I want you to go to the gate of the ancients. Alright. So they believe in me. I can see it in your eyes, one who is born to fight. I feel that I can trust you. Yeah, we'll do it. Even though it makes no sense to send a, your junior squad to go protect relics of an ancient age. I want to repay their kindness. See, he's not a bad kid. Now go gather your companions. Once you've done so, come and see me again. Alright, so we get to go. Now we can go gather our companions. We try to leave. We go to the headquarters. Our headquarters is underground. I have no control over this. Kin! My name is Kin! He's a knight! And he's still in training, though. I really think you're the greatest, Max, but don't tell May. Yeah, apparently May and I don't get along. Tell! Tell the mage! Alright, uh, Kin is basically Chester, or Dontaris. He's our knight. Tao is our Kazin, or Maskarin. We start with an offensive caster in this one. Still got a lot to learn, but I'll do the best I can. Hans and his brother Franz, and he's here to archer you up. Not very good at fighting. Oh Yo, no, you're going to be great at fighting because I abuse rangers like it's going out of style. And Luke is a fighter. He's our Jaha. Ken, Tao, Hans, and Luke, join the Shining Force! I'm not used to this kind of work, but I'll do my best. And Lo joins the Force as well. He is our... healer. So he's Grace or Sarah. I, I hate the joining... I hate that noise of when people join the Force. And that's Nova, again. We, we need... I don't know what he's supposed to be. I don't get him. Now we must report to the king. Alright, so now we can talk to everyone. I'm begging you, don't put me at the front. I hate getting thumped. You know, I'm interested in fortune-telling. I can tell your fortune in many ways. First... Let's look at your color fortune. Well, your coat is blue. Blue is the color of hope, the color of growth. It can also signal failure. That is, in the future, you'll fail a lot.
Take this, it's a symbol of our friendship. Alright, that is... That is one of the biggest things that they've changed between... Uh, the original game and Rise of the Dark Dragon. Nothing to fear while I'm here. I'll be at the front line as long as you need me. You know that I'm a man from... Gardena... No, I didn't know that. Since we're going to be fighting together, I'll give you my card. Max got Luke's card. Now I finally understand how a good battle is fought. Thanks a lot, Max. If you want, I can tell you my life story. My father was a knight at the castle. Oh, sorry to hear that. And we got Ken's card. Uh, and apparently I could murder a giant. <laughs> Just take that out of context. I could murder a giant bat steak right now. Oh. Alright, talk to him again. And we got Max's card. And we got one more person. That's Tao. I want her card. Give me your magic card. Give it to me. Am I being of use to you? As long as there's breath in my body, I'll keep fighting. Yeah, the reason I became a guardian mage is a bit of a long story. Before I became a mage, I was a maid. In Pippery Village. In the west, I wonder if we're going to go to Pippery. Until that monster showed up. Alright, she's not going to give me her card yet. I want your card, woman. Alright, so, yeah, that's... That's one of the biggest things, is cards. It even has its own little section in the menu. Kin's card, copy, fast-moving knight, effect attack for, from any range. Luke! Copy. Well-balanced warrior will raise an ally's defense. Low. Copy. Restore attacked allies HP. Restore one allies. Okay. Hans. Archer with a distance of two. Plus one to allies distance. But as you can see, there's tons of cards. So... We get to we get to use them. Uh, how we get to use them, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, and we also have an interesting new feature called the item box. I'll get into that in a second when we go buy items. Um, all right, so let's go talk to the king. Good. There's a carriage at the gates. That carriage will take you to the gate of the ancients. But before that. Take this to help you prepare for the journey. I suggest you buy an herb in quotation marks or two. We get a hundred gold. Yay. Yeah, I mean, that's enough to buy ten herbs, so... We're not going to use all of it. We are going to buy a couple of herbs, though. Uh, we're going to buy five. And when you buy items, they go into your item box, as opposed to... No, I'm not selling anything. I want to go. Uh, when you buy things, they go into your item box, as opposed to going onto a specific character, like in Shining Force 2 or whatever. So the item box lets you put things on characters specifically. So... Like, I just put that on... Ken and Max and Tao and Hans and everyone's gonna get everyone except for our healer is going to get one because our healer is fine without it.
Alright, so how... I don't know how to use cards. I don't think we can use them yet, because we haven't actually been introduced to them yet. But we have cards! So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, end this episode here, because I'm already about 20 minutes in. So I will see you all in the next installment, where we uh, continue on to investigate uh, the ancient relics of the gods that we're supposed to go look at. So yeah, till then, later everyone.